the proliferation and miniaturization of electronics in devices, wearables medical implants and other applications has made technologies for blocking electromagnetic interference especially important, while making their implementation more challenging. While EMI can cause disruptions in communication in critical applications, resulting in potentially disastrous consequences, traditional EMI shields require large thicknesses to be effective, hampering design flexibility. One solution resides in MXENs, a family of 2D transition metal carbides, nitrides, and carbonitrides with potential for blocking EMI demonstrate high conductivity and excellent EMI shielding properties. The key to the commercialization of these materials is industry-scale manufacturing. A multi-institution research team led by Andre D. Taylor, professor of chemical and biomolecular engineering at the NYU Tandon School of Engineering demonstrated a novel approach to MZNA fabrication that could lead to methods for at-scale production of MZNA freestanding films, drop casting onto propatent hydrophobic substrates. Their method led to a 38% enhancement of EMI shielding efficiency over conventional methods. The work, scalable, highly conductive, and micropatternable MZNA films for enhanced electromagnetic interference shielding, in the first anniversary issue of the Cell Press publication Matter, suggests that micropatterned MZNA films, prepared using a method that is scalable and allows for high T. The team, including lead author Jason Lipton, a Ph.D. candidate under the guidance of Taylor, as well as Eliza Riedo of NYU Tandon and researchers from Drexel University and the Brookhaven National Laboratory, cast aqueous dispersions of MZNA nanosheets with the formula T3C2TX on hydrophobic. After drying, the resulting freestanding films could be easily peeled off, a method demonstrating a variety of advantages over the conventional vacuum-assisted filtration method with regards to time efficiency, operation simplicity, and surface smoothness. Taylor said the beauty of the drop casting method lies in its ability to allow for modulation of micrometer scale 3D patterns on the film surface by utilizing pre-patterned substrates such as a vinyl record, retro-reflective packaging, and retro-reflective tape. He added that the research leads toward more sustainable production. Our work illustrates how MZNA nanoflakes can be manufactured into freestanding films without the need for complicated and energy-consuming instruments. Lipton added that a critical benefit of the process is that allows for better control the thin film configuration of T3C2TX including the LA. The conventional wisdom for making MZNA films is that you should match a hydrophilic material with a hydrophilic substrate to get a smooth coating, said Lipton. We found that if you instead try to use a hydrophobic surface it results in simple, scalable production of freestanding films because the MXENs prefer to stick together than interact with the surface. Because there are many commercially available microstructured plastics, there are a lot of options to make a 3D patterned MZNA film, and we find that choosing the right pattern can dramatically improve EMI shielding effectiveness. This opens up a lot of opportunities to study different micro-structured MZNA composites for wide-ranging applications. The proof of concept marks an essential step towards the massive production of T3C2TX films, which opens a bright venue to accelerate the commercialization of MZNA products. Story source. Materials provided by NYU Tandon School of Engineering. Note. Content may be edited for style and length. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you new tech videos. Thank you.